Uh, my name is Nate. Thank you for coming back to my channel to watch another video. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. I went on Instagram the other day and I saw some comments that I see a lot, but for some reason um, they hit me hard this time. And I went to Snapchat and I had a huge Snapchat rant about it. And then I got a lot of good feedback. And on the rant, I told you guys I would tell you my story, where I've come from, because I feel like a lot of you guys don't know exactly what I've dealt with and exactly my story. Um, you just see what I post on Instagram, see what I tweet and all that stuff. You haven't seen my past. So today I'm going to tell you guys, um, this is not written down. This is not planned out. This is very um, personal to me. This is a very important video to me. It's you guys getting to know me better. Um, I haven't really told anyone my story from my side. Like what I've been through completely. So this is the first time I'll really be opening up. I'll do the best I can. If it's not good, it's not good. I don't know how it's gonna go. So yeah. My name's Nate Garner, and this is my story. I was born on December 22nd, 1996, at St. Jude Hospital in Fullerton, California. Uh, just a normal kid growing up here with two, two lovely parents in Brea. Good life. I was good, really, really good at sports. Basketball, score the point, track, win all my races, soccer, score the goals. Um, so I got an image at a young age of being really good at sports and better than most kids. And um, parents would come up to my mom and yell at her and tell her that uh, I shouldn't be playing because my team would be winning by too much and then I would be beating their kid by too much. So they want everyone to get an award. They want everyone to get A's. They want everyone to be treated above reality. So all these kids are growing up with a big head when in reality they are just normal. Um, so I was above them and nobody liked it from a young, young age. I came into junior high, high school coaches were um, already talking about me. Um, I had good friends in junior high, great time. Um, had no problems in junior high, just people chattered about me. Just the normal jealousy, stuff like that, nothing crazy. Um, got through it. Uh, and then when high school hit, I always say that eighth grade was the peaking point of my social life and when high school hit it just went completely downhill. The summer of eighth grade I was coming home from the mall just me and my friend and um, I was just walking home at like eight o'clock nine o'clock at night and we walked through a neighborhood just right by my house and these kids just randomly come outside and are like did you look at my, did you just look at my car? And we were just like no and we just kept walking and then about a minute later we see an egg just fly over our heads and land almost hit us and we turn around and it's them and I just told my friend he wanted to go back and I told him just ignore it just keep walking let's get home because I knew who they were and I just didn't want to mess with them at the time um, so we kept walking and we hear a car drive up and it's them throwing eggs out of their car at me and my friends so we run home we get chased home by them we barely make it home and so that was a huge sign for me of what high school was going to be like. Um, freshman year of high school, people didn't like me already because of the image I had that I thought I was better than everybody when I was just being me. I was just a confident kid, really good at sports. I was a, I was a straight A student all of my life. I walked into the first day of basketball training and there are the two kids that chased me down and egged me. So right off the bat it was just an uncomfortable situation for me. Um, I asked my parents to transfer, I want to do all that, didn't happen. So I sucked it up. I made varsity basketball that summer. I didn't make the varsity team by the end of summer. There were too many good players on the team for a freshman to make it. But the dislike started already because I was talked about by the coaches and I was talked about by everybody else. Um, so the seniors didn't like that and everybody else didn't like that. And people just didn't like how I, I walked. I don't know. So freshman year is just normal year, dealt with what I dealt with. And um, sophomore year came around and I made my Instagram account. And I just made it for fun. I was, everybody had one. Uh, I found out how to get followers. I had, I think, 15,000 followers. Um, and I thought it was so cool. I thought I was gonna walk around and be so cool. But I forgot where I lived. I uh, walked into school and got the exact opposite of what I expected to get. I got nothing but negativity thrown at me. 
I lost all my friends and I was the laughing stock of the school for whatever reason. For the pictures I posted, they finally saw, the this, this city finally saw vulnerability in me to where they could hate on me and they didn't have that before. And I lost all my friends. I didn't really have anybody. Um, I started failing in school because I was so alone. I was just living in my in my in my room all day. Um, sophomore year wasn't a good year for me. It was a very big sign that high school wasn't gonna be fun. Every day I'd get bumped into. I'd be called a faggot. I'd be called an Instagram loser, selfie faggot. You know, you're a fucking girl. Get off social media, you faggot. You have 12 year old fans and followers. You, sh you should kill yourself. Your followers should kill themselves. Every time I'd walk by somebody, they'd be whispering. You know, people would post Instagram pictures hating on me and post tweets hating on me and all that stuff. And I did absolutely nothing. I had no communications with anybody at the school. I had a group of friends that I lost and I didn't have any friends after that. 99.9% .9 of the people who disliked me had never had a conversation with me. It was just their way of being jealous, I guess. Um, so sophomore year, I had a massive depression. It was bad. I would, I would come home and hate my life. I'd argue with my parents. And halfway through sophomore year, I hit um, 25,000 followers. And throughout that time, that was my escape. <laughs> that was my way of enjoying life because when nobody was there for me, and I had nobody, you guys were. My, my followers, my fans, whatever you want to call them, my social media was there for me. And that was not ever going to go away in my mind. So I got to escape into my um, into my own world. Um, I got away from school, I got away from my terrible reality of being a loser. And the kids from my school got my account deleted. Um, they decided it'd be funny if they all got together and reported my account over and over again. And it was suspended and deleted for me doing absolutely nothing. So these kids in my high school who have never talked to me in my entire life decided to ruin my everything. And I went home and I was screaming and I was crying and I hated myself even more because everything I had was gone pretty much. So I was, I went from being something on social media to being nothing in life. And I was just a sophomore so I didn't know what to do. I would just put a hood on every single day. And I wouldn't talk to anybody. I would walk um, straight to my classroom and not say a word. I would walk straight. At lunch, I would be all by myself in the hallways. Um, and then I would just hate myself. I would never want to be at school. And that was unfair to me because I didn't, I don't, I don't even know what I did. I still don't know what I did. I was just myself. And sophomore year just wasn't a good year for me. Um, that was when the depression really started and the hatred for myself started to where I looked in the mirror and everything was everything was wrong with me I saw every imperfection from a poor to my skin tone to my hair to my, how skinny I was it just wasn't it was just forced upon me the uh, the hatred toward myself because every day I was going to school I was being pounded and pounded with so much hate for no reason um, and I didn't I don't understand why I still like I said I still don't um, I got along with people on social media and that was something I wasn't allowed to have in real life because of what happened in high school so um, that was taken away from me and I got to low points to where I didn't want to kill myself I did not enjoy life I didn't um, um, Nobody was there for me. <sighs> so
Sorry, I'm not like an emotional person. I don't get emotional in front of you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna try and show the real me. So yeah, everything was taken away from me. I made a new account. I got so into it, got as many followers as I could. I think um, summer hit, I had like 80,000 followers. Summer, I didn't talk to a single person. Um, I tanned every single day in the backyard. I would fry my skin because I had bad skin and I would get hated on from people at school like, oh, look at your fucking acne, you're so ugly, bro. Look at your skin, you're so gross. And all the girls would be like, oh, blah, blah, you're so gross. So I would go fry my skin. I'd burn it every single day. So my acne would disappear and it would just be fried skin. Junior year hit, I had tons more followers. I think I had 150,000 followers and it continued the hate tour for no reason. Again, nobody knew who I was as a person. Nobody got to know who I was. Nobody cared. They just found an out for themselves by hating on me. Uh, junior year hit, I made a hashtag for my fans or my followers. Hashtag Nate noticed me, where you post a picture of yourself or you comment on your picture. Uh, Nate noticed me, and I would go to that and I'd like it. I love to give back to my fans. And everybody at the school made their own hashtag. Um, and that just that just escalated all the hate because everybody had fun with that. So yeah, Junior here, and then that just created I had nobody, and I had so many suicidal thoughts. I didn't want to kill myself. Um, I just didn't have anybody. I had no friends. And I didn't know what to do. Uh, and I did. I wanted to kill myself for a long time. Uh, why want? Why live when? Why live when nobody wanted to be your friend, nobody wanted you to be around. Um, I was I, at my school parties you could go to, but there was one little rule. Uh, if you were Nate Garner, you weren't allowed to go. Um, so that's what I had to deal with. Um, that I had no option, no option to not have friends. Um, I just, I just wasn't allowed to whatever because I had followers it didn't make any sense um, so my social life was taken away from me I was if you were my friend you got made fun of um, if you talked to me you got made fun of if if I wanted to go to a party I wasn't allowed to because I wasn't allowed any parties because you know who would want Nate Garner at their party right I deleted my Instagram because I couldn't deal with the hate and I would have eventually killed myself I deleted my Instagram at 315,000 followers and I didn't think I'd ever make one again. I thought that was done. Um, but the hate just kept going. I mean, it didn't end. It kind of died off, but it wasn't as bad. So after all the hate kind of died off, I, kinda, I decided to make a Vine because social media was my life and I had so much fun with it and it was always there for me. I made a Vine account, and for some weird reason, um, all my Vine videos got really popular. I started to get followers on Vine, and I just went with it. I would, I was done with everybody. I was done with my life. I hated life. I hated everybody because I did nothing wrong. They made me hate my life, and that was unfair. So I didn't talk to anybody, even if someone tried to say hi to me, whether it was them making fun of me or not. I didn't say hi. I had my hood on. And I walked straight forward and I ignored them. So they created the image that I was walking around acting like I was better than everybody. So they turned the tables to make me look like the bad person. Um, they said, well, we don't like you because you walk around and act like you're better than everybody. When all of high school, they told me and brought me down and told me, that I'm not better than anybody, that I don't deserve anything I have. And in reality, I thought I was below everybody, and I never walked around. A day of high school with my head held higher than anybody else, my head was straight on the ground, head down so nobody looked at me, and I didn't look at them. And I was so insecure, I didn't want anybody to look at me. and I didn't want anyone to talk to me, because if they did, they'd be making fun of me. Um, but I got this image because of whatever reason that I was too good now when I, I never thought that but 
I said screw it so I kept with it and the hate kind of died off um, so to me it kind of worked when I didn't even want that image it was again given to me I was forced to have it pretty much and it worked so I kept with it um, I got tons of followers on Vine senior year after years of begging to my mother to do independent studies I got independent studies which was the best decision of my entire life focus 100% on social media and giving back to you guys and do my school at home and not have to deal with any hate at the high school from all those jealous kids um, and I blew up on social media and since then everything's been working out I finally found myself again I'm finally starting to love my life again and love myself and be able to look in the mirror and smile and be confident um, it's been a long long journey I've been through a lot to get here um, and and um, and yeah, um, because of you guys, I'm having the most amazing time in my life, um, and it's only the start. And uh, to everybody from Bray who's watching this, because I know a lot of you still creep on me, I'd like to thank you for not letting me go to parties. Um, I'd like to thank you for not letting me have a social life. I'd like to thank you for having me fail in school. I'd like to thank you for making me hate myself. Um, I'd like to thank you for saying I would never make it. Um, I'd like to thank you for all the hateful comments you ever gave me. And I'd like to thank you for being so jealous of me. And you doing that, making me go to the lowest point of my life, only made me go higher. Um, if I became a partier, I could have became an alcoholic and just wanted to party all the time. Um, if I had a great social life, I wouldn't have got on social media and been so committed to what I'm doing. Um, if I'm so, if I got so into school, I'd be going to college next year and want a normal cubicle job and make a terrible wage per year and hate my life in 10 years because I'd be so normal. Um, I'd like to thank you for all the hate comments because now I know how to deal with them. Now I know how to overcome them and I know that everything's going to be okay because you hating on me means you're below me as a person and that you're just jealous. So thank you for that and thank you for being so jealous of me because without all of that, none of this would have been possible. Um, and every time you go on social media, I hope it absolutely kills you. Seeing my face retweeted, or seeing my face all over Instagram, or seeing my vines on Vine, or seeing my YouTube videos on YouTube, I hope it absolutely kills you. Because I know you still don't like me, and I don't have any problem with you, but that's fine. You'll never get to know the real me. So you have fun with your normal life. I'm gonna have fun living it with my, with my amazing fans and followers. And we're going to have an amazing life together. And it's all because of you. You helped me elevate higher than I ever thought I'd be. So you go to bed tonight and you realize you helped me. And that's my main message to you guys. Um, that's what I want you guys to take from this. All of you people who are going through bad times, who don't like themselves, who looked in the mirror like I did and hated themselves completely, realize for one, it's going to get better, I promise. It is only going to get better. Those people who don't know me, I'm not arrogant, I'm not selfish, I don't think I'm better than everybody, I'm not up myself, um, I'm not anything that haters say I am. Um, I've come a long way, I've came from rock bottom all the way to where I am now and I'm proud of myself for that. Um, I work hard for my body, so I'm allowed to post a shirtless picture on Instagram that doesn't make me up myself. Um, I'm allowed to be confident. I'm not cocky. I'm confident um, because that worked in high school when I had nobody and when I was getting pounded with hate and I hated myself. The attitude of you're better than everybody made it stop. So if I come off as that, I'm sorry. I'm not. To be completely honest, I think I'm below you. Um, I still have a terrible insecurity with myself. I still have all the scars from what happened in high school. And um, for me, I go to bed and regret a lot of it because I really do wish that I could talk to my kids about how great my high school life was, but I won't be able to. Um, I never got to experience anything really in high school because it was taken away. Um, sorry, I'm getting emotional. I'll just keep playing so you guys can see the real me. Um, 
it hurts me real bad. It hurts me a lot that I didn't have an option to have fun. So if if you have if you have any option to go have fun with your life, please don't let anybody bring you down um, because you're better than them. Every person, if you deal with hate, if you deal with people who try and bring you down, if you deal with anybody, if you deal with any of that, realize that you are a better person than they are. That they're just 150% jealous of who you are, and um, and they they see you and they see a better version of them and they don't like it, so they have to somehow bring you down. So please enjoy life. Please do not let somebody else bring you down. That's lower than you are. Um, Make as many friends as you can, laugh as much as you can, live it up. Please don't be like me and live in your room your, uh, your whole high school career. Um, you only get four years. I'm never going to get it back, but you still have the opportunity to live it up. So, um, yeah, my name is Nate Garner. Um, this is my story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you to everybody who came and watched my story. I'm sorry if I got a little emotional. Um, it's a soft spot in my heart. Uh, I hope what you got from this is don't spread negativity, spread positivity. Um, negativity could kill somebody inside and you wouldn't even know. Um, because I had my hood on, maybe nobody knew how, what I was feeling. But I was being destroyed inside. Thank you for always being here. Um, because when I had every reason to cry and hate myself, uh, you gave me every reason to smile and you always will support me and I will always love you for that. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, next week I was given the opportunity to go to the Little League World Series with Bomb Pop and do giveaways um, with all the little kids and all the families there. It was an amazing experience so if you guys could tune in next week and watch that video it would mean a lot because it was just a, one of the best times of my life. Um, if you guys like the video, subscribe to me for videos every Friday. Have an amazing day, have an amazing life. Um, you're better than everybody says you are. I'm always here for you. Um, spread positivity. Just thank you.